Hi, my name is Andrew Malievsky. I'm a principal FAE with Morse Micro, and we're here with our Wi-Fi Halo products. So um, you show them here at the Embedded World? Yes. So what do we see? So we make the silicon, the chips here, for Wi-Fi Halo, which is Wi-Fi at 900 megahertz. Uh, it gets you much, much better range, much better building penetration. These get made into modules by our module partners, and then eventually these are our dev boards, and they'll eventually get built into products. Is it like white spaces? It's not white space. It's actually a, a, an ISM band. It's in, the, in Europe, it's uh, 863 to 868. In the Americas, it's 902 to 928. It's an industrial band. It's been used for unlicensed radio for a long time. It's actually the same spectrum that LoRa is, uses. Uh, but what we've done is applied Wi-Fi modulation technology to that spectrum to get much more throughput, a little bit less range than LoRa in the end, but substantially more devices and substantially more data. A little bit less than LoRa, but still very far. Still very far. A couple what, like of kilometers? Kilometers, about? yes. We're, we're very comfortable saying we can get to full throughput out to a kilometer or so. Things taper off from there. In the most extreme case, we went to the desert in California and we got 16 kilometers with uh, ideal circumstances, very little radio noise, line of sight, but we can do, do quite long distances. Are these examples of where you deploy? These are ex examples of testing and deployments we've done. This particular one was a, um, a, a, actually a Caterpillar service facility in Florida. It was a 36-acre compound, lots of industrial buildings, full of, of heavy machinery moving around, and we covered most of it with a single access point. So how is it better than using cellular, for example? doesn't cost you a subscription for every single device. It works exactly like Wi-Fi. You can uh, configure access points, you set, it has WPA3 security, and it's all a local network. It's just the definition of local is now much larger. Is this also using this? Yes, these are some products from our customers. We have um, some development boards, uh, USB dongles so that you can add it to existing equipment. Um, and then these are some of the modules from our partners. So we're the chip company. Our module partners actually build the RF modules. What else do you show at the booth here? Well, we have some, um, some development boards and some evaluation platforms. This is the Halo Link 1. So this is our um, evaluation platform. Um, this is a Wi-Fi 4 router plus a Wi-Fi Halo router. And with a pair of these, you can very easily do an evaluation of, of Halo um, and understand what the technology can do. These are our embedded development boards. Just to make things easy to do a proof of concept, we did a complete board with a host MCU, a camera, some sensors. So you can very quickly assemble a proof of concept. If you're working with a more specific processor, we have uh, boards that will allow you to use those dev kits. And then the last area here, we have some products from our customers. We have a number of industrial IoT gateways from Microtik, from Edgecore Acton, from Vantron, and then uh, a receipt printer, point of sale is an interesting market for us. We're starting to get into uh, smart metering, uh, point of sale again, uh, access control, perimeter security, places where you have devices that are some distance away, but still sort of on your property. We can, can provide connectivity for those without necessarily going to LTE and, and giving the carriers money. Uh, since there was something called FON where people were sharing Wi-Fi hotspots with, uh, with people and stuff like that, I was always hoping that at some point there'd be something like white spaces that would allow for a new network that's yeah. free, that everybody could share their hotspots at home, but for kilometers out. I remember or, fun, and, and I could easily see something like that happening with uh, using the Halo technology. Wouldn't be us doing it, but I could see someone putting it together with our technology in the same way that people used uh, Wi-Fi for fun. What's the cost to add this into a box that does normal Wi-Fi? I'm not the right one to talk about uh, but product costs, I will say that, that these access points, again, it's a complete access point. These are on, on Mauser for $100. All right, so it's sort of affordable yes. as a potential way of creating an alternative oh, network everywhere. Absolutely.